Okay, so uh, to uh, kind of just reiterate really what, what Doug had alluded to as well is I really do appreciate the media. Some of you I've come to know or we've come to know over the last five and a half years and you've really been uh, very helpful to us and keeping the names out there, keeping this case alive. Very appreciative of that. And while this is an, another chapter in, in this in this whole story that uh, hey, in our lives that, that we're going through right now, uh, I want to make sure that we continue that. Right. The, the next chapter is is now we're onto the prosecution side, right? And let's keep that keep that open out there, keep that flowing, keep the information coming in. I want to make sure we get as much information for the investigators and specifically the prosecutor. Um, at, you know, specifically at this time moving forward. So with all your guys' help, we keep the information out there and keep keep the Colonel's name out there. And again, any information pertaining to anything with this case, you know, obviously with, 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 with the person arrested, but anything at all, you know, please call that in. Please turn those tips in because I, I want to make sure that that's how we support as a family, right, is keep it out there, asking for help, and, and you guys carry that message back out there for us. And we are so appreciative of that. But uh, let's stay on top of that and then keep pushing forward because we got another hill to climb and we're, we're gonna get to the top of it. We certainly are. Mike, did you ever feel that the, the suspect could, could be a neighbor, could be somebody that you've known? Well, Doug Carter said that early on, if you recall. He yep. said he, he's uh, hiding in plain sight. And, and that's the case. Um, didn't know that I don't know the, the, the gentleman personally at all, you know, so I've probably seen him, but you know, it's a small county, you know, but uh, definitely don't, I don't know him. What went through your heart, sir, when the last couple of weeks when you heard of a suspect and now an arrest? I mean, tell me, it's been so long. It's uh, somewhat bittersweet, you know, knowing that uh, while it allows us to move to the next turn or the next chapter. Um, we still got a big, we, now we got a big mountain ahead of us and, and we're going to stay after it. I've never given, we haven't ever given up and, and you guys haven't given up on us and we're going to keep pushing uh, all the way. All there's, way. A, there's a lot of information that can't be shared obviously at this time. Mm -hmm. So why is it important to continue and continue with the integrity of the investigation? I want to make sure that we have everything we possibly need and more. I don't want to leave any stone unturned. Becky, how are you doing? Well, we were called in on Wednesday and told that they had detained somebody. So we've had a little, a couple more days to uh, to uh, process this. Um, I don't feel like I thought I would. I've always said that I would be screaming on the rooftops if we're not. It's, it's sad. Um, while there's somebody that's been arrested, there is, you know, our, our lives, our lives for five and a half years have been in a search, search mode. And that's what we've done. You get up and it's like, oh, we're not doing that anymore. So we're all just kind of feeling our way and figuring out what our purpose is now. Sorry. What do we do next? How do we help? That's what we want to know is how, how do we help now to uh, make sure we have the right person, to make sure there's a conviction, to, to come to a total final resolution. Ma'am, are you all fearful that involved? someone else was involved in this that is still at large? That, that, that's certainly a, a possibility, and that's why, I, that's why we're keeping it open out there, right? That's why the investigators answered that question as well, is the tip line remains open. So any information pertaining to this case, that's certainly, they, I want to get that to the investigative team and let them vet that out. You're fearful that that person or those people no, might not, have I'm had not, a role in, in the actual crime itself? I don't know any of that information. What you're asking. Do you think there's anybody in this town that knew about this and kept their mouth shut? I don't know. That would be speculation, really. I mean, what do you think? It's a small town. Sure is. Sorry, there are people who know each other. Mr. Allen, right now, what would you do? Yeah, I'll save those words when I see him face to face. Hey, Mike. Hey, any, uh, sorry, we got here. Any, um, 
I guess how's it feel to know Somebody's on my this guy, phone. nationwide search, and this guy is found down the street from where you guys have frequented and gone? Um, well, it's not an area that I really frequent, but I mean, your point is, is uh, yeah, it's it's definitely, uh, that's why we said never stop searching anywhere, because we didn't know where he was. And like I said, Doug Carter had made mention of that, is he could be living right amongst us, hiding in plain sight. And that's, that's what came. Mike, do you have anything to say to Richard Allen? No, I'll save that for when I see face to face. So what went through your heart and your mind when those charges were read? Um, it was a uh, kind of bittersweet, you know, it's, uh, I just know that there's another job, another hill for us to climb ahead of us, but we're up for the challenge. We're going to keep after it. We're not going to stop. Why is it important to keep the tip line alive at this point? Because I want every stone unturned, every bit of information that's out there pertaining to this case. I want the investigative team to have that information. <coughs> How confident are you that the police have their man? Uh, that's that's what the courts will decide, right? But I'm, I'm confident. I've always had confidence in the, in the investigative team. What keeps you, you hopeful? Yes, I'm hopeful. What, what keeps you hopeful? <laughs> uh, the faith and, and the strength of our family and uh, the fact of the I know how hard the investigative team has worked and and they're non-stop who asked that uh, yeah. who asked that right back here. oh I just I, I wanted to speak about your faith because I know it was important to you if it were your child would you have an option not to be hopeful no absolutely not your that's faith, why we're hopeful yeah. Of course. You all, there's okay, a, there, well, 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 can I just ask you one question? Maybe you can put a rumor yeah. to rest or something. There's a there's a report going around right now that this Mr. Allen actually processed some photos for the family at the CBS. Do you know if that's accurate? That is accurate. Okay, and that he didn't charge the family when they came in to claim the photos? That is correct. Okay, and you you know that firsthand. We we are always yeah. careful to be accurate. All right, one right? more question. Do you think the media coverage of this has been fair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, you guys yes. in the in the media have been certainly more than fair. I mean, don't be don't get me wrong. We've had our share of shots taken at us, and that's fine. And hopefully those people will now be able to reflect in the mirror and say, oh, you know, maybe that wasn't the case. So you know. Reservations and, th and things like this is always the better case, right? It's, it's the better judgment. We all know that, and that's just how we—that's how we are, right? I don't—I don't cast judgment on something until I know for sure. And, uh, okay, thank you, folks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, thank you so much. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm really sorry. No, no. I just. Yeah. I just. I really. I'm sorry. That's my tripod.